Okay, this is N4MQ. I wanted to show you my loop antenna. Uh, basically, I have a transceiver here set up for frequency. Happens to be the local AM radio station that's uh, the strongest. That's the reason I chose it. I have a tuning capacitor here on a really ugly lash up with my transformer and two foot of leads. So I apologize for that, but uh, I didn't want to take time to make the video and put the capacitor in the box. This is the loop antenna. It's nine feet in diameter. Nope, that's not true. It's seven feet in diameter. I'm thinking of the other one. And uh, I wanted to show you the difference on uh, tuning. You can hear the station and you can see the S meter is reading Zippo. Now I'm going to tune it so the S meter pops up and you'll hear the difference. So I'm going from S1 to S7 or S8 and there's the capacitor. Now if you just listen you can see the difference. It's pretty sharp. And you can see it on the S meter. Now, even as strong as that signal is, let me show you how directive this loop is. I'm gonna just turn it. The Armstrong method. Signal's almost completely gone at this elevation, in this angle. And all you have to do is turn it a little bit to bring the station back. Very sharp tuning. Should be good on the hand bands. Now we're basically in the noise. Now it's full signal. Now there's something else I'm going to show you which is kind of interesting. The capacitor is resonated right now to 1460. If I increase the capacity, the signal strength goes down. And if I open the capacitor up, basically no capacity, 50 picofarads, the loop is basically untuned. So it'll pick up all bands, but it still exhibits um, a reasonable amount of uh, directivity. I'm going to open the capacitor. Now we got a reasonable signal, but watch the null. You almost can't hear. I'm going to crank up the audio. That's what it is with the uh, antenna untuned it still shows directivity now if I turn the antenna and then I'll null it So that means you can get rid of offending noise, uh, static or whatever, if it's a single point source, very easily. And now I'll tune the capacitor again. And then I'll turn the antenna back in the right direction. The audio sounds terrible because this is not an AM receiver. It's the best I've got for this testing. Um, it covers sideband or CW, and I'm on the CW position. So the audio is all distorted, but that's in the radio. But as you can see, the S meter is running around, oh, S7 or S8. When you detune the capacitor, it drops away like nothing. 
Some people like to tune the uh, loop antenna using the noise in the background. So if I put it on a null, now you can see just the background noise. So there you have it. And if I change the frequency to 160 meters, our local net is like uh, 1885. Nobody's on, of course. Sun's up. You can still see the tuning effect. Higher frequency, less capacity. So, that's the loop antenna. Uh, it's still in preliminary testing, but uh, it's made out of hard line. Half inch hard line. Works really good. It's almost self supporting. So, it's a suggestion if you want to try it. Makes a great receiving only antenna. And I have a core up here which uh, I use. It's a FT140 43 core material and it's 10 turns to 7 turns. I've uh, tried all kinds of combinations and that's the absolute best. Although the book would tell you you should have a different ratio. The uh, practice is uh, different a lot of times. Have a good one. N4 MQ. Good day.